they run the ball. They're the number one rush offense in their conference, and they're pretty just, they're gritty. So I got Rutgers pulling off a big one against Virginia Tech, Coach. I'm going to go with Virginia Tech. I think when you have sort of a thunderbolt, like them getting upset by Vanderbilt, that kind of brings your team together, and they bounce back. So I'm going to go with Virginia Tech. A lot of returning starters for Virginia Tech this year. High hopes for me, and I think a lot of people for them making it to the 12-team playoff. But, you know, they get their asses beat by Vandy, and it's like, wait a minute, does this team stink? I don't think so. I think the veteran leadership gets them back into it. I think Virginia Tech beats a tough Rutgers team. Tough Rutgers team. I'm going to go with Virginia Tech because Nick Saban just said it. Smart. <laughs> That's a good one. Good it's hard not to do That's that. I changed it from that. <laughs> yeah. oh, he said that? You haven't been following my picks. Go. <laughs> I'm, I'm going with Virginia Tech because Blake Shelton said it. Damn right. <laughs> Hell right. Hell right. 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 As much as he's a genius, have you seen his picks this year? I'm about no. to say, <laughs> ask his granddaughter. I never look exactly. at another man's picks. Uh, <laughs> Smart I'm, life. I'm going with Kyle Manungai, and that, I'll tell you, that Rutgers offensive line, Des, you mentioned this being kind of an old-school physical game. Yeah. I think Rutgers, that's an advantage for them. Manungai, I think, is the difference. You know, the Dallas mayor wore a T-shirt that said, TCU inhales briskly or sucks. Jeez. TCU, SMU, iron skillet game. Who wins it? I'm going with the Horned Frogs in the close one. Yeah, I like uh, TCU. SMU's got these quarterback issues where they're trying to play two guys, new guy. Nobody knows what's happening. I like TCU. I like new guy. SMU, Red Lashley, they'll move the rock. I like SMU to win. TCU's got some badass helmets, boys. Have y'all seen that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. That's TCU. another good reason. TCU. Finally, another not so fast. I got, I got two on you now. SMU wins the big one in the city of Dallas. Big game. This is a huge game oh, in man. the city of Dallas. I'm, uh, I, I liked SMU early. I, I'm with you, Coach, about the quarterbacks, just trying to figure out where they are. I'm going to go with TCU. All right. Not far from here in beautiful downtown Stillwater, Oklahoma. <laughs> Utah and Oklahoma State in the Big 12 showdown. You know, I felt good about this pick earlier in the week because I thought Cam Rising was definitely going to play. But listen to Pete Thamo. They say that he may attempt to play. But I still love the way they play defense. I think they're just really gritty. Defense travels. I'm going with the Utes. I, I, I think even if Cam can play, you know, having that kind of injury on your throwing hand may affect how well he plays. So I'm going with Oklahoma State. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Does that hurt your feelings? They Unbelievable. <laughs> they screwed your ass. Now, Papa is maybe making the wrong decision there because I believe that Whittingham, no matter who's at quarterback, yeah. is going to be able to stop Alan Bauman and the boys. So give me Utah over <laughs> yeah, Oklahoma State. There you go. Strictly do that. I just got back yesterday from an incredible week I spent in Utah out there. Elk hunting, had a great time. Love it. It's beautiful. I'm not picking against Oklahoma State, though. Oklahoma State. <laughs> this guy right here. See that? What are you talking about? I know your parents. I know all your parents. <laughs> Utah, Utah ate the pregame meal at Eskimo Joe's. That's enough for me. <laughs> Eskimo Joe's, Utah winner. I, I'm, I said earlier, if Cam Rising plays, Utah wins. If he's not able to go, they'll lose. I'm, I'm going to just hope that he's healthy and he's going to be able to play. I'm going to pick uh, Utah to go on the road and win the game. And the marquee game, the one we're here for, Tennessee and Oklahoma. You know, the last time Oklahoma was a touchdown underdog at home, the last game before Bob Stoops arrived. It's been a while. Tennessee or Oklahoma tonight? You know, it's a tough pick. I think that Oklahoma's defense is going to get it done early, but I think Tennessee's offense, man, Josh Heupel is a silent savage when calling the plays. I'm going with Tennessee to win. Oh, oh damn no, it. I don't no. think Oklahoma's secondary has been tested like they're going to get tested. I don't think they've been tested on the perimeter like they're going to get tested. I'm going with Tennessee as well. Oh, okay. oh, you yeah. son of a gun. Nico, for the first time in his collegiate playing career, is going to have to walk into an opposing stadium that's going to be packed out screaming, Boomer! Boomer! Tennessee! Not today. Give me good Rocky Top. The Rocky Top. Tennessee! Volunteers in Heidel come in here and win a big one to welcome Oklahoma to the SEC. Oh.
Have you ever picked a road team? It's first time. We've got two firsts. Uh, that's your first time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I haven't picked the right one yet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what do you got, Blake? Oh, you guys are awesome. I shot your gun. Listen to me. I got this. I'm so sorry. I grew up, I was born and raised in this place where if you drive from the big cities to the small towns to the rural areas, if you look at people's flagpoles, you think you're living in the state of OU. And in 1987, my sister sitting right there. Hello, sister. Gave me <laughs> the Brian Bosworth strap in my hair. Put it on camera. Where's the camera at? <laughs> right there. You got it's a Brian Bosworth. There, there, there it is. There. <laughs> there is no way in hell I am picking against. Oh, you, baby! We got this! We got it! Woo! Let's go! LC, what do you got, buddy? Boomer! Yes! What do you got, LC? Sorry, it's great. Listen. Sorry, it's great. Oh, sorry. Since, since World War II, Oklahoma has won more games than any other college football team. Seven, Seven out of three. Yeah. Wow. And, and they're a big league program, so they're going to be tough to beat. Give me Smokey. Oh, 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 no. You guys are all here. <laughs> you guys are all here. Oh, no. They've been so nice. That Smokey. Coach Gasso, the Smokey. softball team. <laughs> the steak was so Shelton. good. Representing <laughs> for the homestanding Sooners. Tennessee hasn't won a game like this since 2006. Maybe Blake's on to something. Great morning here. Oklahoma, first conference game in the SEC. Thanks to Blake. Thanks to this great crowd. All of you enjoy your college football Saturday. Man, that's tough.